Hi there, it's Mark here at MAS Audio and we're in a 2011 Nissan Qashqai and we're doing a radio removal. Um, it's quite simple really this one, you just need a couple of trim removal tools and a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is remove this bottom panel. So all you do is you get your trim tool and just pop it in the side and just pop the, there you go, the first bit out at the bottom there and work your way up. There should be another set of clips just at the top. It should just come out. Just get a hand behind there now. Get that. There we go. That's that one side. And there's the, uh, the other side. You just push that down out the way. Or you can unplug it if you want. You don't need to. It's a nice long lead. It can just sit there out of the way. Uh, next piece we need to do is just remove this. You can just do it with your fingers normally, this one now. Just work your way up carefully. And pull it towards you gently. Um, it doesn't lift up, this one, it just pops forwards. And there you go, you can see it just came loose, as easy as that. And then on the back of it, we've got the hazard light plug there and the little clip that needs pushing in. Um, so we'll just get that, uh, show you that one. There, where are we? There we are. So you just push that clip, pull the plug out. There we go. Nice and easy. That plug, one plug comes out. So that's the whole heat event thing out the way. So there's that plug. Just tuck it out the way for a moment. Then you've got your four Phillips screws uh, for the radio and its little mounting brackets. So we'll just undo those screws. Careful you don't lose the screws by dropping them behind the dashboard. Helps if you've got a magnetic screwdriver. So that's them two. And then we just do the, the two on this side. Sorry, getting my arm in the way there. Right, <clears throat> there we go, that's the four screws out. So you can just lift up slightly and then pull out. It's on a little hook there. You can see that hook there. So you just lift it up ever so slightly and that will come out. <clears throat> and then on the back of the radio, you've got its uh, various plugs all held in with little clips. Uh, so the aerial one and this one, that one, let's get that one off first, just push that clip on the top down, then you can get to the clip on the side of the aerial plugs, just push that one in and pull it out, there we go, that's that one, I'll show you those clips in a second, and then the main wiring block, there's one just, where are we, there we go, there's one just at the top there, just push that in, pull that one out, and then you've got this one on the side. Just push that one. I think that one's for the USB and auxiliary connections. <clears throat> and that's that one. Pull that one out. And that's your radio out of the way. I'll just show you again those clips. So the, on this block, there's one there. Even says push on it. So it's nice and helpful. The main power and speaker block loom, again, was that tab. And the little plug there same sort of style that push tab and the aerial plug it's like a twin aerial lead aerial cable plus power i think that one is and the push tab is this one on the side here and that's them that's how you get them out and that is the Kashkai radio removed there we go thanks for watching see you later